Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this tutorial, you'll learn to create an optical image slideshow. This is a very simple and useful tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Anyway, let's get started. First of all, create a new composition. I am calling it Optical Slideshow. I am using 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second, and set the duration to 15 seconds. Go to the File menu, and import the required images. I am using the 6 images, but you can use as many images as you want. So let's create a new composition. Rename it to Image 1. Select the Image 1 composition, and make it duplicate 5 times by pressing the Ctrl plus D key on a keyboard. Drag each image to the composition. Let's adjust the scale if required. Drag all image compositions to the layers section. Go to about 2 seconds on a timeline. Select the 5 image layers. Then press the left bracket button, to make them start from 2 seconds. Go to about 4 seconds on a timeline. Select the 4 image layer. And again press the left bracket to move layers. Repeat the same process for the remaining layers. Cool. Looks good to me. Let's create a new adjustment layer to control the transition. Rename it to Optical Controller. Go to the Effects and Presets. Search the Effect Optics Compensation. Drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Make sure, you are at the first frame. Add a keyframe on the field of view with a zero value. Go to about 15 frames forward on a timeline. Then change the field of view value to 150. And check the reverse lens distortion. Go to layer, then markers, and add the marker. Double click the marker icon, and type split. This marker indicates the transition. Go to about one second forward. Change the field of view value back to zero. Go to the edit menu, then select the split layer. The shortcut key is the Control shift d Let's delete the top layer. Drag the adjustment layer between the last two layers. Then move it where the second image starts, just like this. Cool. Select the adjustment layer, and make it duplicate by pressing the Ctrl plus D key on the keyboard. Drag it above the image 4 layer. Repeat the same process, and add the adjustment layers to the images, just like I am doing. Let's check our final animation. Looks good to me. I hope this was helpful, and that you've learned something new from this tutorial. 
If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.